right? And that is the record-breaking numbers that Zoo Tampa had last year. And to tell us more about this is Kara Treadway, Senior Director of Guest Engagement and uh, with Rhinos, too, apparently. Kara, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm well. I love seeing the rhinos in the background. I'm sure they were part of the reason yeah. that we saw the big attendance numbers last year, right? Absolutely. I think one of the big reasons why um, the attendance, one of the reasons why our attendance numbers were so high um, was partly due to the Expedition Wild Africa, which just reopened this year. Um, and the rhinos are one of the main animals that you see on this tour in addition to the elephants and our old copies. And uh, it really gives a, a, a good backstage look at our, our animals here at Zoo Tampa. I love that. And in getting ready to talk with you, I didn't realize how by showing the leadership in conservation, especially the manatees, which we've been able to talk about on this show before, it really does show that you are a leader nationwide, if not worldwide, when it comes to the conservation efforts. And sometimes we don't necessarily focus on that. We get to talk about, you know, the fun things like you were able to right there. Mm -hmm. But really, the message behind, though, is that conservation. Absolutely. Yeah, we are striving constantly to be the leader in the, um, especially in manatee conservation here in Florida. We have our Manatee Critical Care uh, Center that we have uh, saved now over 500 manatees, rescued over 500 manatees. Yeah, this year has been a really tough year for our manatee population here in the Florida waters. Um, we have had over 1,100 morbidities out in the wild due to many different circumstances. So super important that we are able to provide that rescue and rehab care uh, with the, um, the hope, always the goal, to return those animals to the wild after they've gone through their rehab um, here at Zoo Tampa. Uh, right now we have um, lots and lots of manatees here because we, we try to take in as many as is possible with our facility. And it's, uh, I think we're doing, we're doing really well. And um, over 500 manatees so far since we opened up our critical care center. Hey, Kara, because like I said, I just learned how Zoo Tampa really is a leader in this, you know, worldwide. What can we do to help the continued efforts when it comes to conservation? What can the general population do? Everybody oh, yes. can do things to help uh, wildlife and uh, conservation out in the wild. Um, one of the most important things, especially here in, in Florida, is to um, be mindful of your recreational activities out on the water, whether it's um, boating or fishing or um, whatever it may do, be that you do to um, enjoy the waters out here in Florida. The, the temperatures are perfect for it right now. So we ask that everybody keeps a really slow wake when they're out Boating. And if you are doing things like fishing, making sure that you're securing all of your fishing line and not getting any trash in the water, um, there's things like that that you can do every single day in order to uh, make sure that you're conserving all of that wildlife. I think you've got some Expedition Wild Africa folks coming in behind you. We love seeing that. And in compliments to you and what you were able to do during the pandemic and make people feel safe, I feel like that's a big thing that allowed your attendance numbers to be as, as great as they are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are an outdoor facility, so they get to come here and be outside this whole time. So in the times like this that we are going through with the pandemic, I think it's really important for people to know someplace that they can go that where they will feel safe, but they can still have a really great time and they can still uh, be educated and informed about um, the wildlife here at Zoo Tampa and, and around the world and things like we were just talking about that they can do to uh, make sure that we can conserve that wildlife for years and years to come. Hey, Kara, and I know you, you can't hear that well because you, of course, are out there right now at the zoo. I want to get in, though. What can people look forward to in this new year? Because I know you've got some big things that are happening. We do. We have some really big things that are happening. So we are getting ready to um, reopen our Florida Wilds area, which is our bears and our panthers and um, some other animals that are around along that that whole walkway and we've expanded those habitats so that we can provide care to more animals um, that may be uh, rescued 
that we have to um, assist with rehabbing so that we can get them back out into the wild as well. And then we have another animal that's a brand new animal to the, um, the zoo, and that's the Hamadryas baboon. Um, and that's really exciting. That should be opening March 1st. And uh, so a whole new animal you, you will get to see. So all of our members and our guests that get to um, come here quite often, they'll have something new to, to see and to do here at the zoo. We have lots of exciting things coming up. So everybody uh, stay tuned. And uh, I think you'll be really, really happy with what you see. I love it. And again, I am hoping for another record breaking year. Kara, thank you for being mm -hmm. with us. I know it's kind of hard to hear there, but we do appreciate <laughs> your time and we appreciate all of the work Zoo Tampa does. There's the website, zootampa.org, if you want to get more information and go out and visit Zoo Tampa for yourself. Yes, yeah, thank you so much.